Hello, my name is Andy Tattersall. I'm an information specialist based at the School of Health and Related Research at the University of Sheffield. And this is a series of videos called App Hacks. It's primarily for medical and health students uh, and for professional clinicians as well. And it's to help you get more out of this mobile device um, and discover the, the many apps out there that you can use. This app that uh, we're going to show you now is the Nice Guidance uh, app. It is available. Uh, on iOS and Android and um, I'm going to drill down into this now and show you what it can do. So this is what the uh, NICE uh, guidelines looks like within, within the actual app. So you can see that I can browse by topic, types, I can also look at new and updated guidance, I can save bookmarks and there is a history that I can look at so I can look at where I've been previously. So if we just go into browse by topic uh, you can see we've got conditions and diseases, health protection, population groups, etc. So we'll go in and we'll just choose population groups. And in here we've got again various different groups. Uh, so we'll choose older people. And in here we've got all the guidance uh, within the within the app um, that we can access. And we can see that uh, some guidance has been updated. Um, so if we just bring up the one dementia support in health and social care, the second one down click that I then get a kind of a table of the key points again which I can kind of drill down into so if I go into number one recommendations it will bring up the recommendations and this is very much like a website but it is within an app so it's it, it's easier and quicker to, to, to load up so I can go in here and as you can see we've got things that are hyperlinked so if I go say uh, preventing psychosis click on that link it will take me to that particular part if I want to bookmark anything that I find, if I click the little bookmark tab that is on the bottom toolbar menu, click that, like so, it will save it as a bookmark. So if I then go back, or I can go to the home button in the bottom left hand corner, I can then go and browse by type. So I can go and have a look at, say, let's have a look at patient safety guidance. In here, there's two items. So if I choose the top one, Again, there's only a summary, so it's a very brief summary, but I can open that up and again, I can save that as a bookmark. Um, if I go and have a look at new and updated guidance, I can do that and I can see here's guidance that's been updated in May and April, also February, etc. So I can go in and choose any of these. Um, I can also search, if I click the search button, I can search for so let's have a look for dementia and it's bringing up me kind of op options here if I click more it will bring up any to do with uh, dementia so if I click on that one there again I can open that up so it's a very useful tool if I go into my bookmarks um, I can actually see no bookmarks have been saved but they should have let me just try and save a bookmark again let's look at the drug misuse let's click that and click bookmark again for some reason the bookmarks do not seem to be working so um, it may work for you it may just be uh, it's not working for us today and I can go in and view history so I can see everything that I've looked at so I can look so I can see the dementia one I can see the psychosis one so again I can go and check through um, my own favorites so that is the nice uh, app um, and so it's, it's, a, it's a free one of course, nice guidance, uh, so it's a good one to have on your device for quick reference.